He is known for being a German chemist who made significant contributions to the field of analytical chemistry. He is recognized for his meticulous approach to research and his discoveries of several elements, including uranium and zirconium. His name is Martin Heinrich Klaproth. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Martin Heinrich Klaproth, a German chemist whose contributions to the field are nothing short of legendary. Born into a world of apothecaries, Klaproth's journey into the realm of chemistry began early on. From working in his own thriving apothecary in Berlin to becoming a renowned figure in analytical chemistry, Klaproth's meticulous attention to detail and innovative thinking set him apart from his peers. Klaproth's groundbreaking work in analytical chemistry revolutionized the field. His invention of gravimetric analysis, a method of determining the composition of substances through precise measurements, brought new levels of accuracy and reliability to scientific experimentation. His dedication to refining apparatus and refusal to ignore discrepancies in results propelled the field forward, making him a major systematizer of analytical chemistry. But Klaproth's contributions extended beyond methodology. He was a pioneer in discovering and characterizing elements. From the identification of uranium and zirconium to his involvement in the discovery or co-discovery of titanium, strontium, cerium, and chromium, Klaproth's work shed light on the composition of minerals and expanded our understanding of the periodic table. His meticulous research and scientific rigor earned him international recognition, with memberships in prestigious scientific institutions such as the Royal Society in London, the Institut de France, and the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Martin Heinrich Klaproth's life and work serve as a testament to the profound impact one individual can have on the world of science. His discoveries not only advanced our understanding of chemistry but also paved the way for future breakthroughs in the field. Klaproth's legacy continues to inspire generations of scientists, reminding us of the power of curiosity, dedication, and unwavering attention to detail in the pursuit of knowledge. Klaproth, an exact and conscientious worker, dedicated his life to improving and systematizing the processes of analytical chemistry and mineralogy. He was an early supporter of the quantitative methods advocated by Lavoisier and played a significant role in spreading these ideas outside of France. In 1789, Klaproth made a groundbreaking discovery. He was the first to identify uranium, initially finding it in torbernite but conducting most of his research on the mineral pitchblende. On September 24 of that year, he announced his discovery to the Royal Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin. Not stopping there, Klaproth also discovered another element in 1789, zirconium. He isolated it in the form of its oxide, zirconia, by analyzing a brilliantly colored mineral called hyacinth from Ceylon. He named the new element zirconium, derived from its Persian name, zargon, meaning gold color. Around the same time as Johns Jacob Berzelius and Wilhelm Heisinger, Klaproth independently discovered cerium, a rare earth element, in the winter of 1803. In 1795, Klaproth verified the presence of an unknown element in the ore rutile from Hungary. He suggested the name, titanium, for this element, which was later determined to be the same as the one discovered by William Greger under the name, menachonite. Not only did Klaproth contribute to the discovery of new elements, but he also clarified the composition of numerous substances, including compounds of tellurium, strontium, and chromium. He confirmed chromium as an independent element, initially discovered by Louis Nicolas Bauchelin in 1797. Tellurium, suggested by Franz Joseph Müller von Reichenstein in 1783 and independently discovered by Hungarian Palka Table in 1789, was isolated and identified by Klaproth in 1798. Klaproth credited Müller as its discoverer and proposed the name, Tellus, meaning, Earth, in Latin. Klaproth was also involved in characterizing strontium compounds and minerals. Alongside other scientists like Thomas Charles Hope and Richard Kerwin, he studied and reported on the properties of strontianite, differentiating it from barium-based minerals. In 1793, he published on the separation of strontium from barium, and in 1794, he described the preparation of strontium oxide and strontium hydroxide. Throughout his career, Klaproth published extensively, with over 200 papers to his name. His contributions to the field of chemistry and mineralogy were invaluable, laying the foundation for further scientific advancements in the understanding of minerals and elements. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.